Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to load a custom ROM on your HTC Tattoo. So if you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the address bar, and then search for our how to load a custom ROM on the HTC Tattoo procedure. Okay, before you begin, you have to have done our how to root the HTC Tattoo procedure before doing this one. If you haven't, there's a link right there you can click on. Uh, to bring you over to that procedure. Do it completely once it's done, then you can come back to this procedure and we can continue. Okay, so once you come back to the procedure, you can then grab a ROM that you want so that we can load it. So you're going to click on this link here that shows you our tattoo ROM section. And then scroll down and choose one of the ROMs here. We're just going to use Motocos. So you click on the link, it'll bring you to the developer's page. And scroll down until you find the download link. And it's just right here. So we'll click download and download that ROM. So, okay, so while we're waiting for our ROM to download, we can plug in our tattoo. And when the screen comes up, click disk drive, done. Okay, so once you download the ROM you want, you're gonna grab it, do not extract it, leave it as a .zip file and we're gonna pull it over to our phone's memory card. Now we're gonna put it on the memory card, but not in any folders. So the path will just be memory card and then the .zip file. Okay, and let that transfer. Okay, once you've transferred the ROM to the SD card, you can unplug your tattoo. And then we're going to turn it off. And once it shuts off, we're going to turn it back on by holding down Home and Power to get into recovery mode. Just keep holding it. And you should get to the custom recovery image. Okay, so once you're on the recovery screen, you're going to use the volume arrows to select Backup Restore and use the green arrow to select it. Then on NAN backup, select it again, click home to confirm, and wait for it to finish backing up. Okay, once the backup's done, you can click back to get back to the main menu. And then we're gonna scroll down to wipe, wipe data factory reset, press the home key to confirm. Once it's done wiping, we're gonna hit back again. Now we're gonna scroll to flash zip from SD card. And then we're going to scroll to the ROM that we put on the phone earlier. And then home to confirm and let that install. Okay, once it tells you that the install from the SD card is complete, you can just push the send button on reboot system now and let the phone reboot. Okay, once your phone boots up, you should have your custom ROM and be able to begin the setup process. Enjoy.